One of the basic pieces of furniture, a chair is a type of seat. Its primary, fu its primary features are two pieces of a durable material attached to the back and seat to one another at a 90 degree or slightly greater angle. It's usually the four corners of the horizontal seat attached in turn to four legs, or other parts of the seat on its underside attached to three legs or a shaft about which a forearm turnstile on rollers can turn, strong enough to support the weight of a person who sits on the seat, usually wide and broad enough to hold the lower body from the buttocks to the, almost to the knees, and leans against the vertical back, usually high and wide enough to support the back to the shoulder blades. The legs are typically high enough for the seated person's thighs and knees to form a 90 degree or lesser angle. Used in a number of rooms and homes, e.g. in living rooms, dining rooms, and dens, in schools and offices, with desks, and in various other workplaces, chairs may be used, or chairs may be made out of wood, metal, or synthetic materials, and either the seat alone or the entire chair may be padded or upholstered in various colors and fabrics. Chairs vary in design. An armchair has armrests fixed to the seat. A recliner is upholstered and under the seat is a mechanism to allow one to lower the chair's back and is into place a fold-out footrest. A rocking chair has legs fixed to two curved slats and a wheelchair has wheels fixed to an axis under the seat. Contents 1. Etymology 2. History 3. Materials 4. Design and ergonomics 4.1. Seat height 4.2. Reclining angle 4.3. Back and head support 4.4. Padding 4.5. Armrests 4.6. Seat size and legroom 5. Types of chairs 5.1. Office chair 5.2. Dining room chair 5.3. Work chair 5.4. Rocking chair 5.5. Kneeling chair 6. Seats 7. Standards and specifications 8. Accessories 9. As sculptural and art forms 10. Cultural significance 11. In language 12. See also 13. References 14. Further reading Etymology. Chair comes from the early 13th century word chair, from the old French chair, chair, seat, throne, from Latin cathedra, seat. History. Main article. History of the chair. The chair has been used since antiquity, although for many centuries it was a symbolic article of state and dignity rather than an article for ordinary use. The chair is still used as an emblem of authority in the House of Commons in the United Kingdom and Canada, and in many other settings. In keeping with this historical connotation of the chair as the symbol of authority, committees, boards of directors, and academic departments all have a chairman or chair. Endowed professorships are referred to as chairs. It was not until the 16th century that chairs became common. Until then, people sat on chests, benches, and stools, which were the ordinary seats of everyday life. The number of chairs which have survived from an early date are ex exceedingly limited. Most examples are of ecclesiastical, seigneurial, or feudal origin. Chairs were only in existence since at least the early dynastic period of Egypt, C. 3100 BC. They were covered with cloth or leather, were made of carved wood, and were much lower than today's chairs. Chair seats were sometimes only 10 inches, 25 centimeters high. In ancient Egypt, chairs appear to have been made in of great richness and splendor, fashioned of ebony or ivory, or of carved and gilded wood. They were covered with costly materials, magnificent, magnificent patterns, and supported upon representations of the legs of beasts or the figures of captives. Generally speaking, the higher ranked an individual was, the taller and more sumptuous was the chair he sat on and the greater the honor. 
On state occasions, the pharaoh thought sat on a throne, often with a little footstool in front of it. The average Egyptian family seldom had chairs, and if they did, it was only the master of the household who sat on a chair. Among the better off, the chairs might be painted to look like the ornate, inlaid, and carved chairs of the rich, but the craftsmanship was usually poor. <coughs> the earliest images of chairs in China are from 6th century Buddhist murals in steel, but the practice of sitting on chairs at the time was rare. It was not until the 12th century that chairs became widespread in China. Scholars disagree on the reasons for the adoption of the chair. The most common theories are that the chair was an outgrowth of indigenous Chinese furniture, that it evolved from a camp stool imported from Central Asia, that it was introduced to China by Ch Christian or missionaries in the 7th century, and that the chair came to China from India as a form of Buddhist monastic furniture. In modern China, unlike Korea or Japan, it is no longer common to sit at floor level. In Europe, it was owing in great measure to the Renaissance that the chair ceased to be a privilege of state and became a standard item of furniture for anyone who could afford to buy it. Once the idea of privilege faded, the chair speedily came into general use. Almost at once, the chair began to change every few years and reflect the passions of the day. Thomas Edward Bowditch visited the main palace of the Ashanti Empire in 1819 and observed chairs engrossed with gold in the empire. In the 1880s, chairs became more common in American households, and usually there was a chair provided for each family member to sit down to dinner. By the 1830s, factory men factored fancy chairs, like those made by Sears, Roebuck, and Co., allowed families to purchase machine sets. With the Industrial Revolution, chairs became much more available. The 20th century saw an increasing use of technology in chair construction, with such things as all-metal folding chairs, metal-legged chairs, the slumber chair, molded plastic chairs, and ergonomic chairs. The recliner became a more popular form, at least in part due to radio and television. In the 1930s, stair lifts were commonly available to help people suffering from polio and other diseases to navigate stairs. The modern movement of the 1960s produced new forms of chairs. The butterfly chair, originally called the hard oil chair, bean bags, and the egg-shaped pod chair that turns. It also introduced the first mass-produced plastic chairs such as the Bowfinger chair in 1966. Technological advances led to molded plywood and wood laminate chairs, as well as chairs made of leather and polymers. Mechanical technology incorporated into the chair enabled adjustable chairs, especially for office use. Motors embedded in the chairs resulted in massage chairs. Materials Chairs may be made from wood, metal, or other strong surfaces like stone or acrylic. In some cases, multiple materials are used to construct a chair. For example, the legs and frame may be made of Metal and the seat and back may be made from plastic. Chairs may have hard surfaces of wood, metal, plastic, or other materials, or some or all of these hard surfaces may be covered in upholstery or padding. The design may be made of porous materials or be drilled with holes for decoration. A low back or gaps can provide ventilation. The back may extend above the height of the occupant's head, which can optionally contain a headrest. Chairs can be ma also may, may be made from more or creative materials, such as recycled materials like caustic cutlery and wooden play bricks, pencils, plumbing tubes, rope, corrugated cardboard, and PVC pipe. In rare cases, chairs are made out of unusual materials, especially as a form of art experiment or experimentation. Raymond Surrealis, a Latvian interior designer, created a volcanic hanging chair that is a handmade out of volcanic rock. Peter Brenner, a Dutch-born German designer, has created a chair from lollipop sugar, 60 pounds of confectioner sugar. Design and ergonomics 
chair design considers intended usage, ergonomics, how comfortable it is for the occupant, as well as non-ergonomic functional requirements such as st size, stacking ability, folding ability, weight, durability, stain resistance, and artistic design. Seat height. Ergonomic design distributes the weight of the occupant into various parts of the body. This is done by having an easily adjustable seat height. A seat that is higher results in dangling feet and increased pressure on the ups up undersides of the knees, popliteal fold. It also may result in no weight on the feet, which may mean in more weight elsewhere. A lower seat may shift too much weight to the seat bones, ex axial tuberosities. Gas springs are attached to the body of the chair in order to give height adjustment and more comfort to the user. Some chairs have footrests. Uh, around 15% of women and 2% of men need footrests, even at the 16 inch 41 centimeter chair height. A stool or other simple chair may have a simple straight or curved bar near the bottom of the sitter for the sitter to place their feet on. Actual chair dimensions are determined by measurements of the human body or anthropomorphic measurements. The two most relevant anthropomorphic measurement for of chair design is the popliteal height and buttock popliteal length. For someone seated, the popliteal height is the distance from the underside of the foot to the underside of the thigh at the knees. It is sometimes called the stool height. The term sitting height is reserved for the height of the top of the head when seated. For American men, the median popliteal height is 16.3 inches, 410 millimeters, and for American women, it is 15.0 inches, 380 millimeters. The popliteal height, after adjusting for heels, clothing, and other issues, is used to determine the height of a seat chair. Mass-produced chairs are typically 17 inches to 430 millimeters high. Researchers such as Mary Blade and Galen Cran found that sitting on the edge of a high stool with feet on the floor is is less harmful for the lower back than sitting up straight on a conventional chair. Reclining angle. Intended usage determines the desired sitting position. Task chairs, or any chair intended for people to walk at a desk or table, including dining chairs, can only recline very slightly. Otherwise, the occupant is too far away from the desk, desk or tables. Dental chairs are necessarily reclined. Easy chairs for watching television or movies are somewhere in between, depending on the height of the screen. Researchers learned that the best seated posture is a reclined posture of 100 degrees to 110 degrees. The backrest can recline independently of the seat, or the chair can be tilted backwards. A reclining seat and back will reduce the load on the occupant's back muscles. This may be more comfortable for some in reducing weight on the seat area. In general, if the occupant is supposed to sit for a long time, weight needs to be taken off the seat area and thus easy chairs intended for long periods of sitting are generally at least slightly reclined. However, reclining may not be suitable for chairs intended for work or eating at the table. Back and head support. The back of the chair will support some weight, some of the weight of the occupant, reducing the weight on other parts of the body. In general, backrests come in three heights. Lower back backrests support only the lumbar region. Shoulder height backrests support the entire back and shoulders. Headrests support the head as well and are important in vehicles for preventing whiplash. Neck injuries and rear end collisions where the head is jerked back suddenly. Reclining chairs typically have at least shoulder height backrests to shift weight to the shoulders instead of just the lower back. Padding. There may be cases where padding is not desirable, such as chairs which are intended primarily for outdoor use. Where padding is not de desirable, contouring may be used instead. A contoured seat pan attempts to distribute weight without padding. By matching the shape of the occupant's buttocks, weight is distributed and maximum pressure is reduced. Armrest Main article, armrest A chair may or may not have armrests. Chairs with armrests are named armchairs. In French, a distinction is made between fauteuil and chaise. The term for chairs with and without 
armrests. In Germany, an armchair was once called a conking sessel, or sick chair, because it was intended for people who were too ill to stand or sit without extra support. If pleasant, armrests will support part of the body you wait through its arms if the arms are rest resting on the armrests. Elbow rest height is used to determine the height of the armrests. Armrests should support the forearm and not the sensitive elbow area. Hence, in some chair designs, the armrest is not continuous to the chair back, but is missing in the elbow area. Armrests further have the function of making entry and exit from the chair easier, but from the sides it becomes more difficult. Seat size and leg room. For what someone seated, the other popliteal length is the horizontal distance from the backmost part of the buttocks to the back of the lower leg. The anthropomorphic measurement is used to determine the seat depth. Mass-produced chairs are typically 15 to 17 inches, 38 to 43 centimeters deep. Additional anthropomorphic measurements may be relevant to designing a chair. Hip breadth is used for a chair width and arm rest width. The buttock knee length is used to determine leg room between in rows of chairs. Seat pitch is the distance between rows of seats. In some airplanes and stadiums, the leg room, the seat pitch less than the thickness of the seat at thigh level, is so small that it's sometimes insufficient, insufficient for the average person. Types of chairs. A wide variety of chairs have emerged through the Asia. It's some based on formal usages, and others based on domestic needs, and some based on needs within the workplace or other various professions. Office chair. Main article, office chair. An office chair is, used, is one used by employees within an office. Modern office chairs are usually adjustable and wheeled. Caster wheels are attached to the feet of chairs to give more mobility. Dining room chair. A dining room chair is a specific type of design in used around a dining room table. It can be found in most ordinary residential homes or the dining room. It may appear in formal settings, such as any formal event or reception that includes a formal meal or banquet. Work chair. A work chair is a specialized chair adapted to the needs of a professional profession of sitting. For example, a designing chair will be used for designing those who sit at high easels. It will usually have added height. Rocking chair. Some chairs have two curved bands of wood, also known as rockers, attached to the bottom of the legs. They are called rocking chairs. Kneeling chair. A kneeling chair adds an additional body part, the knees, to support the weight of the body. A sit-stand chair distributes most of the weight of the argument to the feet. Many chairs are padded or have cushions. Padding can be on the seat of the chair only, on the seat and back, or also on any armrest or footrest the chair might have. Padding will not shift the weight to different parts of the body, unless the chair is so soft that the shape is altered. However, padding does distribute the weight by increasing the area of contact between the weight of the chair and body. A hardwood chair feels hard because the contact point between the occupant and the chair is small. The same body weight over a small area means greater pressure on that area. Spreading the area reduces the pressure at any given point. In lieu of padding, flexible materials such as wicker may be used instead with similar effects of distributing the weight. Since most of the body weight is supported in the back of the seat, padding there should be firmer than in the front of the seat, which only has the weight of the legs to support. Chairs that have padding that is the same density front and back will feel soft in the back area and hard to the underside of the knees. Seats. Chair seats vary widely in construction and may or may not match construction of the chair's back backrest. Some systems include Center seats where solid material forms the chair seat. Solid wood may or may not be shaped to human contours. Wood slats, often seen on outdoor chairs. Padded leather, similar to a flat wood base covered in padding and contained in soft leather. Stuffed fabric, similar to padded leather. Metal seats of solid or open design, molded plastic. Soft, 
or stone, often marble. Open center seats where a soft material is attached at the tops of chair legs or between stretchers to form the seat. Wicker, woven to provide a surface with give to it. Leather, may be tooled with a design. Fabric, simple covering without support. Tape, wide fabric tape woven into seats seen in long chairs and some old chairs. Caning, rush, wrapped with rush. Heavy paper, strong glasses, or hand twisted wet metal wrapped in cattails to form the seat usually in the pattern of four trapezoids meeting in the center, and on rare occasions in elaborate patterns. Reed, rawhide, splint, ash, oak, or hickory strips are woven, metal, metal wish, mesh, or wire woven to form seed. Standards and Specifications Design considerations for chairs have been codified into standards. ISO 9241 Ergonomic Requirements for Office Work with Visual Display Terminals Part 5, Workstation Layout and Postural Requirements is the most common one for modern chair design. There are multiple specific standards for types, different types of chairs. Dental chairs are specified by ISO 6875. Beanch bag chairs are specified by ANSI Standard ASTMF. 1912-98 ISO 17174 specifies stability of rocking and tilting. The Business and Institutional well, Furniture Manufacturers Edition Association BIFMA designs a defines ANSI slash BIFMA X5.1 titled General Purpose Office Chairs Tests for Testing of Commercial Grade Chairs. Specifies things like chair back strength of 150 pounds, 68 kilograms, chair stability if weight is transferred completely to the front or back legs, leg strength of 75 pounds, 34 kilograms, applied 1 inch, 25 millimeters from the bottom of the leg, <clears throat> seat strength of 225 pounds, 102 kilograms, dropped from 6 inches, 150 millimeters above the seat, seat cycle strength of 100. 1,000 repetitions of 125 pounds, 170 or 57 kilograms, dropped from 2 inches, 51 millimeters above the seat. The specification further defines heavier proof loads that chairs must withstand. Under these higher loads, the chair may be damaged, but it must not fail catastrophically. Large institutions that make bulk purchases will reference these standards within their own, own even more detailed criteria for purchase. Governments will often issue standards for purchase by government agencies, e.g. Canada's Canadian and General Standards Board CAN CGSB 44.15M on straight chat stacking chair steel, or CAN slash CGSB 44.232-2002 on task chairs for office work with visual display terminal. Chairs may be weighted by the length of time that they may be used comfortably. An 8-hour chair, a 24-hour chair, and so on. Such chairs are specified for tasks which require extended periods of sitting, such as for receptionists or supervisors of a control panel. Accessories. In place of a built-in footrest, some chairs come with a matching ottoman. An ottoman is a short stool that is intended to be used as a footrest, but can sometimes be used as a stool. If matched to a glider chair, then the ottoman may be mounted on swing arms so that the ottoman walks back and forth with the main glider. A chair cover is a temporary fabric cover for a side chair. They are temporarily rented for formal events such as wedding receptions to increase the attra attractiveness of chairs and decor. The chair covers may come with decorative chair ties, a ribbon to be tied as a bow behind the chair. Covers for sofas and couches are also available for homes with small children and pets. In the second half of the 20th century, some people use custom clear plastic covers for expensive sofas and chairs to protect them. Chair pads are cushions for chairs. They contain cotton or foam for padding. Some are decorative. In cars, they may be used to increase the height of the driver. Orthopedic backrests provide support for the back. Car seats sometimes have built-in and adjustable lumbar supports. These can also be used in kitchen chairs. Chair mats are mats meant to, 
to cover different types of flooring. They are usually made with plastic. This allows chairs on wheels to roll easily over the carpet and protects the carpet or floor. These come in various shapes, some specifically sized to fit harshly under a desk. Remote control bags can be draped over the arm of easy chairs or sofas and are used to hold remote controls for home cinemas. They are counterweighted so as to not slide off the arms under the weight of the remote controls. Chair glides are attached to the feet of chairs, which can prevent them from scratching or snagging on the floor. An anti massacre wears a cloth covering for a headrest to protect the fabric and enable easy washing. As sculptural all or art forms, the broken chair is a monumental sculpture in wood constructed of 5.5 tons of wood, 12 meters and 39 feet high, standing across the street from the Palace of Nations in Geneva. It has a bro uh, broken leg symbolizing opposition to landmines and cluster bombs. In 2001, Steve Mann exhibited a chair sculpture at San Francisco Art Institute. The chair had spikes which that retracted when a credit card was inserted to download a seating license. Later, other mu museums and galleries were equipped with a pay-to-sit chair with a global or central seating license and server located in Toronto. The first sitting session was free, but the database of persons who had already used their free session. In a performance piece at the 2012 Republican Political Invention, Clint Eastwood addressed an empty chair, as if it was represented President Barack Obama, meant to be construed as MIA or ineffectual. The address was controversial, whether it was poignant or bizarre. Japanese designer Kajus in, in the Yoshioka has created several chairs as art forms such as Honey Pop, Honeycomb Paper Chair, Pain Chair, Natural Fiber Chair 2006, Venus Natural Crystal Chair 2007. New York industrial designer Ian Stell creates steel and wood connected sculptures that transform into chairs, including World Bottom Chair 2016 that turns into a secretariat desk and loop that transforms into two interlocking chairs when expanded 2015. Cultural significance. In Welsh culture, an ice the fog is a festival with several ranked competitions, including in poetry and music. The term Eisteddfod, which is formed from two Welsh morphemes, Eistedd meaning sit and fod meaning be, means, according to Highwell Typhi Edwards, sitting together. Edwards further defines the earliest form of the Eisteddfod as a competitive meeting between bards and minstrels, in which the winner was chosen by a noble or royal patron. In language, if someone nearly fell off their chair after being informed of something, it was because they were very shocked or surprised. An orchestra awards the best player in a particular section a chair or principal seat based on ability. The first chair of the section plays the solos, and in string sections determines the bowings. In however, in professional in orchestras, the first chair player receives higher pay. It is also common for this position to be known as the first stand, a reference to the portable lectern in which, in which musicians put their seat music. However, the person who is in the first chair in the first violin section is usually referred to as the concert master in the U.S. or leader in the U.K. In academia, an endowed chair is a prestigious appointment by a professor, paid for by a dedicated funding source. A chair is the highest officer of an organized group, such as the chair of the board, the head of a board of directors in a, non in a company or non-profit organizations. Musical chairs is a common party game in a colloquial expression to describe people shuffling from seat to seat around different locations or from one job title to another. In American slang, to say someone will get the chair is to say they will be executed by electric chair. Alternatively, it may, can be a metaphor for other harsh punishment. See also, list of chairs for an extended list types, such as the lift chair, papasan chair, squirrel chair, chair pose, chair squat, wedding like sitting, Seating assignment, splat, furniture, the central vertical element of a wooden chair back.